105 centimeters, including a black tail, and his weight ranges from 9 to 13 kilograms. The appearance of the honey badger resembles a badger or wolverine. He has a similar alligated torso and short legs, completely out of proportion to the body. His unique abilities made it possible to carry his into a separate subfamily and genus. The courage of this animal is supported by powerful jaws, long claws and extremely hard and thick skin, which is 6 mm on the neck. The skin on its body moves freely, which allows the animal to easily twist its body to attack the enemy attacking from behind. Honey badgers are widespread in Africa, where they also called bald badgers. This nickname stuck to the animal because of the light and bald-like copper part of the head, sides and back, and his belly, paws and tail are covered with thick black hair. This color allows the honey badger to camouflage well. Also, this animal is found in India, on the Arabian Peninsula and countries of Central Asia. In fact, this fierce predator can rightfully be called a snake eater, because the snakes make up its main diet, and there is a reason for this. The poison of snakes is not so terrible for the honey badger, because a dose of poison that can kill any other animal causes only temporary discomfort on the honey badger. Often the snakes bite him during the fight. As a result, the animal lies unconscious for some time, but then, as if nothing had happened, it gets up and begins its meal. Interestingly, the bald badger develops its immunity to poison gradually, with the help of the mother, who organizes a kind of training for children. For example, this young honey badger is practicing on a scorpion. His venom is very dangerous, but not as dangerous as that of a cobra. Bites in the nose bring unbearable pain, but the honey badger does not retreat and disarms the enemy, starting the meal with a sting. At the same time, honey is just a delicacy that they don't eat very often. But sometimes stubborn honey badgers hunt down bees in search of their hive. They are ready to climb a tall tree for the sake of sweet honey and endure the attack of the owners protecting the hive. Despite the thick skin, the animal's muzzle is vulnerable to bites. But the honey badger is not used to retreating. Honey contains a lot of calories that he needs. The honey badger doesn't see very well, but its sense of smell is well developed, which allows him to track down even such dexterous prey as this rat. She finds salvation in thorny thickets. In such a fortress, the rat feels safe. But will the 5 cm sharp thorns stop the honey badger? It seems that he doesn't feel pain at all, or simply ignores it, because catching this cavity rat for the honey badger is more important than such trifles. Now let's move on to the fun part. What is a honey badger capable of? Is he really that fearless? Let's figure it out. So what do we see here? The python strangles the honey badger. Wait, so um, as we can see, here we are recording our second video uh, that I have titled um, What if we learn from animals? And this is the second video that I'm recording here. And I went for the animal called honey badger. This is a very fearless, resistant, persevering, and it's a great animal in terms of its capacity and its ability to resist and its determination as well. So uh, only a few people know of this animal and we barely speak about it. But if we can just try to look at how this animal behaves and by the way, I encourage everyone to go to YouTube and watch um, more videos about this animal, you will see how incredible it is. So uh, while we do job hunting, it's really hard, I know. It's really difficult and tiring. Sometimes you have to go over interviews after interviews. And sometimes you have to rewrite your motivation letters, your CV, try to adjust here and there, um, fill in certain forms and stuff. It can be really tiring. But if we can adopt this um, way of doing that the honey badger has, I believe it would be very good. Uh, despite the struggles that we might be um, going through 
or uh, dis despite the weaknesses that we might have, as we can see, the honey budget does not see very well. Uh, it is really short, yeah, but it it's like it's never let itself down and it's always does its best to ensure that it gets there and it attains its objective. If we can develop this cure, um, I believe it will really help us and it will make us be more determined and help us achieve our goals regardless. Thank you for watching. Bye.